start on the book of Romans. Romans chapter 6, verses 1 to 14. Romans is a new testament. And he says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we, sh we should not serve sin. Seven. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dies no no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin death therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your member as instruments of neither yield ye member as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and and your member as instruments of righteousness unto God. Fourteen, this is the last verse. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, God without end. Amen. Let's go to quick. The quick. I believe in God, God I believe the Father God. Almighty. The Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, and descended into hell. The third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended up to heaven and seated on the right hand of the God, the Father Almighty. From there. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. The I believe in the Holy Ghost, the celestial church of Christ, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the 
I have power to do whatever I want to do. But Christ is talking to me today that if God can raise him up and then he has a new life, he is not living a life that he had before, but newness of life. He said we should do the same thing as Christ. What are the things that is in your life or in my life? What are the things that I am doing or that will not make people to look at me and call me a Christian? What are the things that we are doing in the home? What are the things we do at our workplace? What are the things that we do as children? A newness of life is when daddy and mommy is talking to you and you listen. A newness of life is before you don't want to listen to them, but now because of the Christ that was Christ has taken your sin away, you don't want to sin again. I don't want to sin again. So I have to what to conform with what God is saying. We have to conform with what Christ is telling us. And we have to conform with what is right. There are things that are not right. There's, you see, one thing we need to understand in this part of the world, there are so many things that we are given power to do. Yes, by the law of the country, you are free to do this, this at, at, uh, at certain age. But is those things lawful? Is those things promoting your life? If you continue with that, the, the, the thing that the, the government has given you to, uh, the liberation they give unto you, if you continue in that, where are you going to end? Where are you going to end it? Are you going to end in, in the life in, in the right place or in the wrong place? So if we are being guided by the word of God, if we are being guided by the power of the Holy Ghost, if we are reading this word of God, is going to guide us in the right path. Then, then we are we are going to be walking in newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life is God that gave it unto us. So if you want to use it very well, you have to work as God has commanded you. That what are the things that is not good? We should leave that. If you go back to the same Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8 gave us something that there is no condemnation in we that are in Christ Jesus. Because of what? Because we are not walking after the flesh, but after we walk after the spirit. So what we get, what we call newness of life is that we are being given the spirit of God. You are no more walking in the flesh. In the flesh are the things that are you, cannot things, things that your mates are doing, your friends are doing that are not glorifying God. It's not glorifying glorify the house. But now because the spirit of God is in you, then we now have to do things in the right way. You have to let the spirit of God direct us. That place, that 8 verse 14. That's where we are going to be. We are going to round it up. He said, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are all called sons and daughters of God. Before you can be led, you have to walk with Him. You have to do the right thing. You have to allow Him. You have to give Him your totality. You have to forget about what has happened before and then you move with a new life. I pray today, as we move in the newness of life, God will work with us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Take me so far, Lord of Olua.
Hallelujah. 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 H